we will be playing for the pre-stream a game that's been uh, gifted to me by uh, Mr. Glitterthorn. Or Miss, I'm, I'm not sure, so apologies for that. Probably Mr. Glitterthorn. And uh, it's an indie game, I, have a, I think it was released quite a while ago. And it's basically in the sort of like a privateer game. Uh, if you've never played Privateer, well, Privateer was basically you were kind of a merchant, you bought ships, you decked them out, you bought new ships, you could trade in stuff, you could attack ships, you could become a pirate, and so on and so forth. So yeah, this is Space Pirates and Zombies, which is kind of a similar thing, just in 2D. And uh, yeah, you know, you've got... Damn, I forgot the controls. Uh, you've got your ships here, for example. I've got only three at the moment. You can deck them out in different weapons and such. Um, hello, Terabyte. Welcome to the stream. Uh, you know, you've got reactor, engine, shield, armor plates, uh, weapons, and so on and so forth. It all sounds really cool, you know, and going around, destroying stuff. Um, but after having played this for... Well, I don't know how many hours, five, six hours all together, maybe more. It, I have to admit, it kind of gets stale. I do appreciate, you know, the direction of this game, um, the 2D shoo shooter element, but <laughs> there's two things. The, the game can get very stale, that's one, because even though you have a huge... Look, there's the um, system map. This is our system, so there are different planets and places of interest here, which are all just missions where you'll fight. And now then you have the star map. So these are all the stars, that's one system. So these are all the star maps you can go to. And there's quite a lot of them, as you can see. Unfortunately, they're procedurally generated and there's nothing wrong with that. But there's not much to do. I mean, it's like an, in an MMO. There's lots of different quests, but they're mostly destroy this, destroy that, capture this, capture that, um, and so on and so forth. Hello, Commando Kitty. Date, um, who else? Domes and, and, and other people who I've probably missed. Welcome to the stream. So, um, yeah. I mean... It's a fun game for a couple of hours, but then I, I just don't know. There's lots of stuff, I can't really put it. There's loads of stuff to do, but at the same time, there's very little. And I really can't see myself playing through all of this. I mean, all of this, look at this. There's a lot. And at some points the game just gets a bit too difficult or kind of unfair. And um, yeah, you just have to grind, 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 grind. This game's motto is grind. If you like grinding, then maybe this is for you. Hello, Silent Slasher. Welcome to the stream. So anyway, let's see where we are. I'm trying to... Some of the stuff is also not very clear, because, see, I have my ships here. Uh, I don't know how to get more hangars. Uh, well, ship hangars. Apparently, that gets updated automatically when you get to a certain story point. I'm not even gonna mention the story because I have no idea what the hell we're doing. Sort of, I have a vague idea, but it's, it's, it's kind of uninteresting, really. I'm not just spitting over this game, don't worry. See, there's all the different hulls. That's also another problem I wanted to say. Um, Hello Zartis, welcome to the stream. This is Space Pirates and Zombies. There's also another thing. Uh, you don't start with a tiny hole. I think you can start with a small hole already at the beginning of the game. And then, you know, you unlock more holes as you destroy ships. But the problem is, I mean, I've destroyed so many ships, so many different ships, and none of them were an actual upgrade over the ship I had. So I was destroying all these ships, getting all these blueprints, and always just using the same ship. <laughs> so it's kind of weird, really. Hello, Stunning Jam and Poo Foodie. Welcome to the stream. And CT Grey. And Entity. Welcome to the stream. So anyway, let's uh, stop babbling and go to some place. I don't know. I forgot what we were doing. These guys are angry with me. What's over here? The treasure hunt. An alien artifact has been detected in the area. Further study is required. Let's go over there. See what uh, happens. 
Excellent. I've located another rare artifact. Go fetch it for me. I'll be awaiting the samples in my lab. You forgot to say the magic word, you slave driver. Wait a minute. I'm picking up enemy contacts. We're not the only ones looking for a score here. Weapons hot. What a surprise. Hello, th that guy that stares. Awesome name, by the way. Uh, this is Space Pirates and Zombies. So, okay, first of all, we're gonna do some uh, fighting. I forgot what my weapons are. Oh yeah, these laser thingies. Ooh, those are some big ships. Now, I have one turret and one laser. Well, I have a laser on the turret as well. But uh, basically, the turret will follow, try to follow the targets themselves. But uh, as for the fixed uh, laser, I have to point it myself. You can strafe with the ships, which is what I'm doing, even though it might not seem like that. Oh, there we go. More ships will arrive to fight, no worries, there they go. Ow, 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 ow. And they're all going for my ships, which are uh, computer controlled. Okay, there we go. Let's get this one. This is a big one. Uh, the fights can get a little hectic. They're full of those, these little numbers, as you can see. Let me just zoom out a little bit. Hopefully you can still see stuff going on. Uh, more ships to fight, so let's do that. I wonder if I have to just crack open that artifact and forget about fighting these guys. Maybe they've got infinite reinforcements, but that's usually not the case. One of my ships has been destroyed now, which is not cool because uh, you have to pay resources to uh, rebuild them. Fortunately, they're not that difficult to find or to, uh, to mine and such. There we go. Let's uh, get that one as well. That one, man. You're about to die. There you go. More ships, I guess? Yes, more ships. Let's uh, rebuild this ship. It'll be rebuilt, uh, rebuilt and then um, hypered or hyperspaced back over to me. This, this sector, I guess. On the reticle, you can see those little dots all, all around, which is basically my power. And because I have some power boosters, or reactor boosters, I don't really have a problem with the power, so... I might uh, tweak the ship design a little bit. Come on, then. Come on, then. Yeah, but some of the stuff in the game is also... not explained fully. I mean... I I'm getting... Uh, I'm getting different blueprints, right, when I destroy stuff or when I buy it from space stations and so on. So, I got a cool blueprint and I said, yeah, I want to do this. I want to buy that and put it on my ship. But it says, you have to buy two more blueprints. Two more blueprints of what? Of that exact thing? Or two more blueprints in, in that department? So, if I have a armor blueprint, do I have to buy two more armor blueprints? Whatever they are? I don't know. It's kind of weird. I mean, Oh, come on, more ships? Okay. I think this is just infinite respawn. I'm not gonna rebuild my ships because they were all destroyed, so I'm just gonna go for this. My shields are on the top left there, but I'm, I'm pretty high on the ship skill, uh, on the shield skill. So as you can see, they're recharging before these guys can actually do much. But they're gonna get closer. Salvaging contraband is illegal. That artifact will be confiscated. Leave this area immediately. Thieving bastard, how dare he make off with my prize and destroy his ship now! Whoa, okay, he just appeared apparently? Out of the artifact or something? I have no idea. Okay, my shields are going down now. And, uh, ooh. Yep, my shields are gone now as well. Let's rebuild the ships. Probably not gonna help much, but I gotta get this guy. Oh, that was a torpedo and I avoided it. Oh, come on! Come on, I still have lots of hull armor, so that's okay, but I am getting pounded surely, but... Oh, right. rebuilding those ships helped, because now they're, they're taking some of the fire, and this one is going down, and my shield is now recharging. Excellent. There we go. Collect the artifact. 
Fascinating! These artifacts are millions of years old. Each seems to contain a critical piece of some puzzle, but I can't quite understand it. Whoever bu built these intentionally scattered them across the galaxy, presumably to ensure whoever found them had some base level of technology. Whatever secrets are within must be mine. Go fetch another. The galaxy is a damn big place. We're lucky we even stumbled across two so far. The question is, are we opening a treasure chest or Pandora's box? Okay, so there's another blueprint. Now well, let's go destroy those uh, last few ships. It doesn't matter if I got uh, my ship damaged, because it'll be repaired automatically. Uh, oh, they destroyed another ship of mine. Bastards. Come on, then. I'm gonna eat ya! There we go. One more remaining. So this is basically all you do in the game. Destroy lots and lots and lots of ships. And unfortunately, not not much uh, you get, at least in the beginning of the game. Seems like an upgrade. I mean, some of it does, but, you know. A lot of the weapons are just kind of... You put them on and, and you start going, what? Why the hell would I want that? It's it sucks. So I think that's uh, one of the big uh, problems of this game: repetitiveness, uh, which is not necessarily always bad. Repetitiveness, that is. Uh, let's go back. But you know, excuse me, itchy nose. Uh, where else can we go? Mining expedition. We can go and get some res here, but I think we have enough. Actually, let's go over there. Hello, Nessence! Hello, Vermoin! Hello, who else? Oh, these guys are also hostile? Yeah, that, that's, that's what I'm talking about. See, it's pretty much almost wherever you go, there's hostile stuff. Again, this is not necessarily bad. Let's attack the space station. It's small, so we can just destroy it. They don't have a chance. Come on, then. It's about to go! Boom! Go. The explosions are quite nice, but as I said, I mean combat is not necessarily a bad thing. It's just that there's pretty much it's pretty much bread and butter here, just combat. And with a leveling up system, I mean you know decking out your ship and such, it would really help if there were more. Uh, weapons and ship varieties that were actually an upgrade to what you have. Why is this guy so far away? Hello, Ch Chuko Boyao, or something. Oop, I missed this one. Welcome to the stream. I'm trying to read the comments as well, and, and trying to shoot these guys in, in the meantime. Well, that's actually a gun over there. I'm gonna destroy that as well. There we go. Okay. Uh, you can also destroy these, uh, uh, you know, uh, asteroids and get some res. You can see it floating out. But yeah, I mean, credit where well, credit's due. It's an indie game. They made quite the effort, but in the end, I don't know. If it's not on sale and if you don't really like these kinds of games I would say stay clear it's not bad it's just very repetitive so yeah trigger happy Norwegian welcome to the stream yes I'm, I'm reading the comments and kicking ass at the same time oh wait are you serious we can't we can't get out of the system before I destroy these guys they're so far away Okay, this guy is closer. That's ris ridiculous. Hello, Derizopa! Flat space? Uh, sounds familiar, but I can't remember where, whether I uh, heard about it or not. I don't know. Right, let's go and get this gopher guy. What are they doing? Why aren't they coming over to me and attacking me? That's really weird. Oh, that's a tiny little ship. Bye-bye. 
You're about to be destroyed, little ship. And now the second problem. You could see that when they're low on uh, hull, or armor, or whatever, yeah, hull, uh, they start running away. Now, in certain situations, when I was playing the game, this caused me to basically try and kill the guy, but he started running away, and because he had a smaller ship, and bigger, or bigger engines, whatever, he could get away, recharge his shields to full, and then come back. And we just went on and on and on, and every time we were fighting, I could get like 2% off his hull, which also repaired. So that was a stalemate, I could do nothing about that except completely rework my ship, and even then I'm not sure I could do it because I had no money whatsoever. So, <sighs> this game has problems. It's fun for a few hours, but I don't know, you gotta be quite the devoted fan of 2D top-down space shooters. Let's, let's take this one. Come on. I mean, you know, grinding. The grinding is a part of MMOs, usually. Even though, you know, lately they've been trying to do, Ooh, our, our game is not grinding. It doesn't involve grinding. Ah, that's bullcrap. Every MMO has grind, uh, whether you like it or not. Um, and, uh, you know, in an MMO, as you grind and as you level up, you will get lots and lots of new equipment. And at least for me, that's a really big part of MMOs. You know, upgrading your equipment, getting better stuff, and so on. And it just makes you feel accomplished, you know, that you've actually done something with all that grinding. You, you got lots of XP, and you've leveled up, and now you can wear that shiny new plate, which reveals your character even more than it should. Even though it, you know, uh, has more protection. Uh, but over here, as I said, it doesn't feel like... Let's go to the hangar. So, let's say... I don't know. I've got a large overload emitter. I was using the large focal emitter, you can see that the, the new one has far less range uh, and more power usage and more damage. I mean, that's... I, I don't know. And this has been going on for six hours, maybe? This is all I've got. Only one... well, one, two, three, four weapons, two of which and I can't even use this one, Large Disruptor Cannon, because you require research in level 2 cannons to use this component. Fair enough. I'll spend it there, but I don't really want it. It, you know, it doesn't have you upgrade your stuff often en enough to feel accomplishing. I mean, I've got the standard reactor, because in the beginning you have just a, you know, surplus shield, sur surplus reactor and surplus engine. So, I don't know, I think that's what it's really missing, if it's going for the grinding aspect. And also the hulls, don't, don't talk about those. I was using this ship at the beginning, and adm admittedly, this one has more hull strength, um, but, you know, much less cargo capacity. There's no kind of feeling of progression, unless you get a bigger ship, which can uh, mount bigger weapons. And yes, in essence, World of Tanks is a horrible, horrible grind. Um, but yeah, I was I was starting, you know, this ship, for example, the Tug. I was using this ship, and let's see, it's got two medium launcher mounts, uh, one medium turret, and two medium utility mounts. And then I got a new ship and said, "Yay!" Wait, what? Two medium shooter and one bomb mounts? That's it? That's a downgrade. And then I got a new ship. Yay! Two shooter and three utility? Seriously? And then another one. One bomber, one turret, and two utility. That's still less. Two turrets and one utility. What about this one? Two launcher and four small launcher. I guess a little bit better, but... I mean, you see, you destroy all those ships, get so many blueprints, and you can't use any of them because they're just inferior to what you have right from the beginning, when you get a larger ship. Same with this one. I doubt I'll get anything better. I can't even check these, because I haven't destroyed any yet. 
but you know this this game is not all bad it's just horribly grindy and um, well that's it it's horribly grindy you have to live through it which is kind of annoying and if we look at the star map we are here and uh, are we here I think we are yes and there's loads of this stuff loads of it around Hello, White here and Mouserman and Lucas. I think I already said that. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. Right, so there's uh, research, as I said. As you fight stuff, you get upgrade points, and then you upgrade your stuff, like shields, for example, which I've upgraded fully. I'm not sure. Have I? Yes, you already own six, level 6 upgrade, and if I want to do more, this upgrade is offline until the mothership can be upgraded, which p probably means that I have to do more story missions. Which, well, to do more story missions, you uh, have to uh, fight more stuff in, in other uh, systems. Hello, Knuckle Socks and Chris Smout. Welcome to the stream. And Silent Slasher. So anyway... Uh, let me save this. Uh...